Hello everyone. In this class, we will study the application of direct digital control. So as an example, I have taken a boiler control scheme. So the DDC here, the DDC that is the direct digital control is applied in a boiler control scheme. So it is a steam boiler. Here you can see that the steam pressure is controlled. See this pressure is controlled by the two inputs that is nothing but usually it is controlled by regulating supply of fuel oil see fuel oil into the burner so keeping the um, pollution control pollution regulations in mind so here uh, ratio of air flow and oil flow air and fuel is required so this pressure controller, the steam pressure controller system, it will generate one actuation signal. It will generate a, this is a actuation signal, which has been given by the pressure controller. This actuation signal might be either in auto mode or manual mode. So, if it is auto mode is selected then the station will be switched to auto and the actuation signal is transmitted if it is manual mode so whatever the signal which you are entering from the keyboard that particular signal will be selected okay so now the signal from the bias station is connected to see this is connected to two units so the first unit is high signal selector and the low signal selector. You can notice here each of the signal consists of two input and one, in, one output. So this is one input for high signal selector and this is one input and this is one output. Whereas coming to the low signal selector, this is one input and this is one input and this is the output. So what is the function of this high signal selector and low signal selector? High signal selector will pass the high input select high input signal so if this is high it will transmit this input signal if this is high it will transmit this input signal whereas low signal selector it will transmit the lowest input of these two inputs so that is the function of these signals high signal selector and low signal selector so uh, you can see here the signal from the high signal selector which will transmit the highest of the two signals, it will provide a set, pen, a set point for controlling of oil flow. So, this will provide, see the output of high signal selector will set give a set point for air flow. This is, it will give a set point for air flow. Whereas the low signal selector, this is the output of low signal selector, it will give a set point for oil flow. These things you have to keep in mind. That is, from this, you will be having it is uh, divided into two selectors, high input, a high signal selector and low signal selector. Output of high signal selector is nothing but it will give the high highest input it will give output as the highest input it will give the output as lowest input which will serve as a set point for air flow and the oil flow low signal selector will serve a set point for oil flow high signal selector will serve a set point for air flow so now the ratio unit is installed and air flow measurement line a signal from the controller which monitors the combustion flame directly is added to the airflow signal to provide the input. Okay. So, it is not that the DTC is limited to simple feedback control system. It is possible to use the other techniques such as uh, inferential feed forward adaptive and self-tuning controller also. I hope it is cleared the application of DTC in this boiler control scheme. Thank you.